all my life I had to fight like Sophia Right my wrongs in this world that's full of evil Most of the faces looking at me are real deceitful I don't he Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Excuse the kids playing outside We have some children that is playing outside the window tonight Okay, one of my neighbor's children Okay, so you may hear some noise but um, to get started, um, first I'm going to tell you guys that I appreciate each and every one of you guys for taking the time out to tune into my channel today, okay? So I did, earlier I did a twin flame, so I was like, I was going to do a soulmate for those that are in a relationship with their soulmate, or that is married, or feel like they were there forever person, to check out the energy for y'all. Hold up, because I wanted to pull a song, okay? My music deck will be in this week sometime coming up i can't wait is it has over 130 cards Okay, so we have Rihanna, unfaithful, the story of my life, searching for the right, but it keeps avoiding me, sorry in my soul, because it seems that wrong, really loves my company, he's more than a man, and this is more than love, the reason that the sky is blue, the clouds are rolling in, because I'm gone again, and to him, I just can't be true, so I'm seeing some energy of someone holding something, back or some feelings or some emotions and at the bottom of the, the deck we have doja cat streets i can't sleep no more in my head we belong and i can't be without you why can't i find no one like you i can't sleep no more in my head we belong and i can't be without you why can't i find no one like you so i'm seeing right now this situation that you're currently going through and with this person is kind of making you feel like there's something someone isn't saying or there is a gray area in the connection. Are you starting to feel a drift with feelings, like a drift away, like someone may be going through something or hurt? I feel like a blue-like energy. And I'm feeling like someone is constantly thinking of someone or the situation, you know? I'm seeing courting here and devoting. So I'm seeing that this person has already made up in their mind on what where they want this connection to go. They want to be a devoted partner to you. That means that they want to be there. They want to stand up. They want to be the one that makes you feel all fuzzy on the inside. They want to be the one that you know that you can run to when you want to grin or when you're going through something. But didn't I just say there was some type of energy of this? And so it's annoying like feeling um, you was getting mixed signals or someone had an argument recently with their soulmate it's an argument that y'all just need to cool down until yeah make a move is here um i'm seeing that this person feels like now is the time to take action they feel like now is the time to elevate the relationship they feel like now is the time for y'all to come out of this energy like this annoyed like energy does not want to be amongst each other higher self is here so i do see that your higher self is is speaking right now so i'm seeing you guys intuition is, is here heavily and i'm seeing security here so what i said this person want to want you to know that you can always run to them they want to devote themselves to you so this person now finally realized that they don't want to date no more. They want to be a thing, like a, a real thing. Some of you guys, this could be y'all marriage going to the next level or someone going from dating to marriage. Yeah, love language is here. So this person loves in a different type of way or they make you feel some type of way, you know, regarding their love language. You may feel like they can do more or say more or they can you know do a little bit better than what they're doing and it could be with the security and a devoting part you feel like they are not showing you enough you know enough of energy to make you feel like okay let me put all my eggs in one basket and i'm seeing explore here so this person do want to travel with this connection so they are planning on taking things to the next level they are planning on making things work between y'all this is a divine union 
So I'm saying now is the time to congratulate this person and yourself because y'all both have healed from past trauma, karmic cycles, toxic connections, bad past with relationship. But what didn't I say somebody get married? Somebody get married. All right, y'all gonna renew y'all vows soon. It's like I'm saying I'm hearing renewal vows or a honeymoon phase again. Like you y'all just got married for the first time. And I'm saying sexual healing is here. So this person feels like your sexual energy helps them be the macho strong man that they need to be. So it's like with you loving them on a sexual sexual level, it makes them feel secure and it makes them want to be devoted. It makes them, your loving makes them want to do right by you. So it's a different type of energy that they get from being sexual with you. So slow down is here. This person may want to slow things down. They may not want to take things fast. I feel like somebody is losing patience or somebody don't no longer want to have patience. Mm -hmm. It says just because we want something so bad doesn't mean we have to rush into it. Take a moment. So some of you guys may be rushing this person to show you this, this energy that's coming out here now in your future. You know, take a moment to talk with your partner, ourself to reflect on what is best. So it's like you want them to move a little quicker. You want them to stop being so slow. They may be not texting you on time. They may be not showing up on time. It's like you got to question them. It's like you may not hear from this person how you should during a day. You may not feel like your spot is secure. Like, you know, like you may still feel in your the back of your head like, is there someone else? But have faith because they saying this time love is here to stay. Have faith with this connection. Trust in a divine and trust within your person. Yeah, you are definitely, yeah. Yeah, there's a disconnect. I knew it. So I'm seeing these two things. It's like there's a wedge between you and your soulmate right now. Some of you guys, y'all could have be separated from y'all soulmate. Some of you guys, y'all could be walking around the home and just not talking to each other at the moment. Y'all don't feel like y'all have anything to tell this person, but y'all will go to a new chapter and it will be free from the inner fear. So this right now, inner fears are in this connection. You scared of them not staying or are not living up to what you want the connection to live up to. You know, that type of energy. Let's see. Let's see what else here. sun card is here so i'm seeing the sun card and the ace of pentacles is here i'm seeing that when it comes to this situation there is something big happening um and i mean colossal i mean like the look the sun card look how big the sun is here look how big this giving is so this person is finally giving y'all and it's crazy how the two doves stand for peace it's like peace. It's like this is security once again. Like I'm here to stay. So it's like they're going to buy you something material. Some of you guys, this could be the ring that they're giving you to show that, you know, this this is the token of my love. This is how I feel about this connection. Like this is what I want. I want marriage or I want to further our marriage. I really care about you, you know. I'm seeing an eight of swords here. Yeah, this that gloomy energy. Someone has been feeling stuck or bound. I feel like they they are getting left out in the cold. Someone just feel like it's unfair. But the Knight of Wands and the Nine of Swords is here. So I'm seeing you felt trapped and this person stressed out. So it's like y'all both in a sticky situation. Y'all both are thinking heavily and deeply about what's to come. This person will fight for this connection. The Knight of Wands is here. They will fight. They will stand up, but both of y'all going to have to make the effort because the Knight of Wands is between both of these cards, the Eight of Swords and the Nine of Swords. So this person need to open up with their thoughts and you need to open up with your heart. 
because you still some things from your past is still taunting you about a connection it's like because you have the key to open up this door you're not trapped you're not stuck and i'm also seeing a nine of wands here it's like this person is realizing that you need security because you're doing a lot alone. It's like the nine of wands and the ten of wands is here. It's like you guys are well established. You guys may have, may need help with like tasks. It's like you guys got kids at home. Y'all stressed out right now. It's like y'all overwhelmed. So if y'all want somebody there, y'all want somebody that's going to take initiative. That's going to show you that they can secure this household to where you don't have to do all the work. It's like you don't want to be the only one taking action. It's like that's something that you want to leave behind. That's something that you feel like got you stuck in awkward situations already before, you know, because people wasn't playing their part or playing their role or doing, you know, 50-50 or even 20, 25 to 50, you know, something, showing some type of, you know, and I'm seeing a six of wands is here. So I'm seeing this will be a successful, this will be a success. This will be celebrated. I'm this is what I'm saying. So either y'all going to have a, like a wedding ceremony, like a celebration. You know how they do the renewals of a wedding. Or you and this person is going, yeah, y'all going to hit the final, y'all going to hit the goal shot. Y'all going to slam dunk this relationship. I'm saying they will ask you for your forgiveness for all the times that they wasn't there. For all the times that they couldn't give you nothing solid. For all the times that they did leave you wondering and crying and loving on yourself and doing all this alone you know because i feel like you felt alone in this connection are you starting to feel that way it's like it's a glooming like mode i'm seeing here and with the sun card here they realizing that you are my everything i'm hearing you are my lady my love you're everything i need and more yeah you are my lady and i'm seeing the ace of swords here so yeah Something is being brought down. Something, something, the, the star for the star and the ace of swords here. Yeah, they realizing something major about you. Let me write this down so I forget that that's y'all topic. I'm living for, I think, yeah, living for. And yeah, everything I needed more. Yeah. So it's like they realizing all this. They realizing how important you are in their life. And I'm seeing the four of swords here. You guys, yeah, this is the <laughs> this is the the rage and the discontent. And this is yeah, the annoyance. It's like you acting like they're not there no more, like they don't exist no more. The six of swords here, you kind of turning turning your back on this person. You kind of turning your back on this person, which is kind of making this person want to do right and fight, fight for this connection even harder. Look at this, the king of wands. So they're going from the knight to the king. So this time when they take action, they won't leave. So have faith this time because this person's going to be there. This is air. I mean, this is, I see a lot of air here. Um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and a lot of fire. Sagittarius, Leo, Aries, and a few earth sign, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. But most of the energy here is like someone feeling like they tired of being in a connection where they feeling like that person is not holding up and doing what they need to do not showing up for the connection like they should or not challenging themselves enough you know what i'm saying it's like you want this person to do better you know you don't want them to be wasting their time and not doing the things that they say that they were supposed to do you know that's not what you want that is not what you want Look at this. We shining on them. This person wants to y'all to be together as a team. They want y'all to when you shine, they shine, and when they shine, you shine like a partnership. You know, like we in it together. We in it together type of energy. And I'm saying I hate you. I hate when you mad at me, baby. It does something to me. So this person, it's like they get very upset. They get very upset when they disappoint you. So for you to be disappointed in them, it makes them feel disappointed within themselves. So that's the gloomy energy. Y'all both over there stressed out crying. But I'm feeling like you guys either separated or you guys are in a home and one in like y'all in different rooms. Y'all not speaking to each other. But let me cater to you, baby. It's here. 
So this person want to wind and dine you. They want to show you that they can be that person that you need them to be. They can show up emotionally. They can they can vent to you. They can open up their heart to you. They can, you know, make the pain go away. That They, they kind of cause in this connection. And I'm seeing I'm all about my money, baby. So this person is going to be all about giving you the best of both worlds. Like emotions, love, money. And I'm seeing talk to me. Let me know what's wrong. So yeah, this person is going to be more communicative now. It's like at first, it's like every time when you would ask them what's wrong, they would shut down or they wouldn't speak. Communication may have been your love language. You know, you like to communicate so you can know what's going on. And by this person shutting down, it gets you annoyed because you feel like you don't know what's happening with this person. Like, what's really going on? So it's like it was a mystery. And I'm seeing my happiest moments are being upon you. So this person loves being upon the energy of you. It's like they like touching on you, feeling on you, kissing on you. You know, they don't like when this happens. It's like they would rather y'all be like this than separated and y'all both feeling discombobulated. Like, I, you know, like, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we are royalty. Remember that. So they feel like y'all are kings and queens. They feel like y'all both deserve the world. They feel like y'all both are a dominant, like, energy. Y'all can make a lot happen together. I know I aggravate you, but I love you. Look, I said, look what I said. They know they... They, they aggravate you. They, they get on your nerves. They pee you off. They tick you off. But they love you. They love you. Some, for some of you guys, this person, you may feel like they put money before the connection. Or put their job or what they doing for money before the connection. Busted, got caught up. So someone is getting caught up. Okay? Someone is... That's probably with the Ace of Swords. This that breakthrough. This the clarity. Somebody's getting clarity that they need here. Somebody is finding something out. Okay. Somebody is finding something out. Something is happening. Mm hmm Unfaithful is here. So this person could be un being unfaithful literally. And I'm think and I'm seeing that they're gonna get caught up. And I'm also seeing we're gonna build is this empire by all means. So they like no matter what took place here, they want you to know that they still here. And look at this king and queen, what I said around here. So they feel like y'all good partners. They feel like y'all go go good together. I'm feeling like some of you guys, this person may be coming out of a connection. And they may have started talking to you in the midst of a connection. And it was it was electrifying. It was y'all souls gravitated to each other, you know. And I'm seeing we we gonna build each other up. So yep, this person is like we going to take care of each other. We're going to do right by each other. We're not going to leave each other out here looking crazy. We're not going to make each other, uh, you know, like downgrade. Or this is a downgrade. This is going to be our upcoming. This is going to be our upbringing, us together. It's like, I'm not here to tear you down. I hope you're not here to tear me down. And I'm saying, even behind your back, I show my love for you. So it's like, this person is like, now they're going to be showing the love. They're going to be, it's like, you're going to know that this person is trust trustworthy. It's like I'm feeling a sense of uh, 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 a different, for that new chapter to come out, I'm feeling like the energy that's going to flood through your gut is going to be, they're telling the truth. You can trust them. It's like it's going to be a feeling that you get when y'all come back together. It's going to be a different type of feeling. You're not going to be nervous no more. You're not going to be second guessing it no more. I'm saying we are the perfect match by racial relationship. You and this person may be different colors, different ages, different race. Um, whatever the case may be, y'all could be a little lighter. One lighter than the other one. Or one younger than the other one. But y'all were meant to be. This was meant to happen. There's so much of love in this connection. And I'm seeing baby is more than your body. I'm making love to your mind. So someone is definitely... That's that sexual healing again right here. It's like they want to return a favor. They want to show you what you mean to them. They want to reciprocate the love that you give to them. They want it to be in y'all favor. And it says, I saw you in my dreams before I met you. So this person realized your soul, your spirit. So it's like they realize, they recognize you. That's why they chose you. So for those, it's like, why he choose me or why she choose me? They felt the energy. They had already experienced that energy somewhere before. And it says, making love in the rain and through the pain. You and this person will be healing each other. Look at this. Good Lord, you taste so sweet. This person loves your sweet smell, your sweet taste. And I'm seeing they love you inside and out. So trust them this time. 
they they going to be building that trust up. So if this person was unfaithful, you don't have to worry about that lying and cheating energy no more. Um, this is like a turnaround. This is like a breakthrough. Let's get some messages from this person. This is like them growing up. This is like an uh, awakening, like a the light bulb finally turning on. Like this person is graduating. So this person could be getting a promotion at work. They could be going back to school. Or they could be changing the way that they make money. Okay, for those that may think that this person could do better with their finances or prioritize their life a little better, they're going to be balancing it out now. So if this person works a lot, they may be always gone or never around or never there. That's why the security is not there. Because this person may work um, offshore. They may work in the army, like overseas. You barely see this person. Or for some of you guys, they work so much that by the time they come home, you sleep. You know, something like that. And it's like it's putting a wedge. Their work is putting a wedge between your relationship. And also something about somebody else. It's like somebody else is, is in this connection because that unfaithful card would have never came out. So this person may have slipped up. Or this person met you while they was with in a connection with someone else. And y'all both wasn't thinking that it would go to this point. But y'all are soulmates. Y'all met for a reason, you know. I feel empty without you. So they can't take they can't take the empty void. They can't take that. And they feel terrible for hurting you. So they wish that they would have never caused pain or caused you to weep, you know, over this connection. They didn't want that, you know. And they planning on reaching out to you. They planning on calling you. So for some of you guys, this person either not speaking physically or not calling you know because it's like there's something strange going on you feel it secrets and deception you feel like this person is holding something back they're not telling you everything and i see i feel like i'm not good enough for you so this person feel like they have they this person has low self-esteem they feel like they don't they don't meet your expectations they not the type of person that you should be with. They feel like you should be with somebody that's better than them, have more than them. They need time. So this person, don't. that's why their energy came out slow down. They need some time to get their stuff together. And look at this. There, there was someone interfering in a relationship. Unfaithful. Look at that. It's coming out again. And I'm seeing long distance. So, yeah, it's like you and this person need to distance physically or mentally. Soulmate is here. But this is a soulmate. This is... Oh my God, this is like why this is exactly why I like to do what I do. This is y'all soulmate. Okay, this is not a twin. This is actually y'all soulmate. Okay. This is your forever person. Forever in eternity. Infinity, you know. But it was a one sided relationship. So it's like you speaking more or you communicate more, and this person is not communicating or not expressing the way you express. They want they want to work things out with you though. Please forgive me. So they will come in begging for your forgiveness. They will come in trying to fix things no matter how hard, you know, they try. But they so used to diving in and out of relationships. So this person is not used to being in a relationship this long or, you know, being in a relationship that requires this much like stability, like structure. They used to just being with somebody and then boop, dip out. You know, they don't they don't know what they want. They never did. And I'm seeing that you thought that this was just a fling or they was making you feel that this was just a fling, but destiny is taking y'all down different paths. And they are reminiscing about you. You make you make them want to do better. So as they on this journey, they constantly think about what you told them on how they can fix their life, how they can do better, how they can choose better. And the situation is really up to them, you know, on how they conduct their lives. So I feel like some of you guys may have preached to this person a lot or, you know, was that, that counselor or that cushion that this person needs. And y'all was trying to be there in so many ways, but this person was kind of pushing y'all out in certain departments of their life. They would tell you certain things, and then other things you would have to figure out or piece it up on your own, okay? So I thank you guys for tuning in. This is all that I have for the soulmates out there. Make sure you hit that like, share, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell to be notified when I post more. Thank you.